So this is what it's like running ads for equity crowdfunding campaigns, right? This is so typical. I've been working on this account for about 45 days. Now, mind you, brand new account, okay? Brand new. A little bit of ads ran in, but not very much. So I build out all of this infrastructure, get the all the tracking set up correctly so that we can at least see if it's working, right? So that takes some work on a WeFunder. Yeah, we spent some money. I'm not going to lie. Look, we spent some money here. And I've all, I got it to a 1.5 return on ad spend, okay? That's very, very good right now in the first like 40 days, right? 45 days, brand new account in equity crowdfunding, right? Um, so I have the follow-up call. I'm like, hey, all right, I think we've got something here. I think I can, I think I can go, we can start looking at maybe scaling this or at least, you know, try to get up to two. Again, also all the other thing that happened in this, because of April 29th, I had to shut the ads all off uh, because WeFunder took a minute to relaunch um, the campaign. So the ads had to be shut off and then turned back on. So that hurt. If, and if you know ads, you're not really supposed to touch them, right? You're not supposed to turn them on or off. That's not what you're supposed to do. So I get all this stuff built, lots of creative, funny creative. I'm doing like, you know, image ads, user generated content, um, all kinds of different image creatives, um, video creatives. Uh, oh, I'm doing this thing with, with trolls, right? So any troll comment, I'm taking and putting it right into ads. Very, very, I think pretty creative at this point, right? Get that return on ad spend up. And, and I know that this is going to kind of keep going like this. And I, I can only say based on other campaigns I've worked on, like, hey, I think we're going to see this. Plus, we typically see about a 40% uptick when campaigns close from all of like the people that just don't click now, right? Um, also in my world, you know, we're seeing a 60-day attribution window, meaning it's taken about, from the time you see an ad, about 60 days before um, investment happens. So even right now, I'm, I'm like, in my opinion, I'm like, okay, whew, we're getting some in here. This is awesome, right? Now, I get it. I know. Everybody wants a 5x return on spend. 10, you know, it's hard to do. So now this client goes, I just don't want to do this anymore. I just don't think it's working. Cool. Cool. So, well... I guess I'll shut it all off because the ads, I mean, this is where the expectation right now is we want miracles. And Jeff, we're not understanding why you didn't produce a miracle. You produced something like you produce half a miracle, truthfully, because I have other campaigns that we don't see this and we still say, hey, you got to keep spending, got to keep spending. So again, this goes back and I go, I trust my structure works, types of creatives I do the types of copy I do, I'll get there, but you've got to give it time. And I don't know why issuers won't, they just won't, and I get it, we all have budgeting stuff, I get it, all this stuff, but like, this is what it's like to be in the weeds of paid ads for a WeFunder campaign. Okay, don't believe me? There's the data. All right, everybody, hey, if you're thinking about running a campaign and you wanna spend time on it and you really want you know, this type of energy and you want me to work on stuff, let me know. I would love to, but you got to give me some time. All right, buddy. Peace.